Okay, we're going to go ahead and change the oil on a Honda lawnmower. I recommend doing this about every 50 hours of runtime. I just do it once a year. Uh, to be safe, I won't let it go longer than a year. So the oil uh, goes in right here. So let me just say that this is something new I'm trying. So one of the easy things you can do, well, easy, uh, it takes two people. But you can get like a oil pan, get one person on that side, one person on this side, pick up the lawnmower and tip it over and drain it and then turn it back over and you know it's drained. I'm gonna try something different this year just to see how much I get out. This only holds 12 ounces. 12 ounces of oil is all. That's another reason to change it every year. That's, that's not a lot of oil. And this takes a 10W30. I went ahead and bought this AMS oil small engine. Um, commercial grade, it's expensive, but 12 ounces at a time and all I have to use that on is my lawnmower, my pressure washer, and my generator. And so it's gonna last many, many years. Um, so what I'm gonna try to do is use this Mighty Vac. I'll put a links in the description to all this stuff, but I'm gonna use this fluid extractor and see if I get 12 ounces out, and I'm gonna measure it by putting it in this picture that I have marked, and I have the 12 fluid ounces marked down there at 0.375 quarts. So I'm just curious to find out how much oil I can get out with this. It doesn't look like much, unfortunately. Don't really know what it looks like inside of there as to why it wouldn't be getting all of it, but I just thought it'd be worth a try. Yeah, definitely not getting anything close to the 12 ounces, so I don't know what it looks like down in there, but uh, it's looking like one thing I might try, and we're going to put the video camera down. I'm going to try uh, have my wife lean the mower and see if I, how much I can get out. But if that doesn't work, we'll just have to do it the old-fashioned way by picking it up and turning it upside down. So we're going to try tipping the mower this way and seeing what we can get out. Okay. I can hold Okay, so this is definitely working. Just at about a 45 degree angle or whatever this is, it's full of oil. That's on just one time pulling it back. So we're gonna go ahead and dump that. See what we got. I'm just gonna, before I even look, I'm gonna go ahead and try it again because that was pretty much full. Okay, that's about it. It's gotta be close to 12 ounces. All right, Let's see what we got. That's it. So, to kind of show you, we got every bit of it. So there's the 12 ounce mark, you can see right there. When I hold that level, we're all the way there. So it did work, and that's much easier than lifting that thing up, because it's not the lightest thing in the world. I'm gonna put it back down. I'm gonna take one moment to go dump this in uh, my oil container where I put my used oil, and then we'll use that to measure our 12 in ounces, and we'll put it back in. So be right back. Okay, so we have our fresh oil in here up to the 12 ounces. Pour it right back in. You can always use a funnel, but this pitcher that I use for oil, because of all the nice measurements I have on it, this works for this. 
I was doing this in a car, I would use a funnel. But this pitcher has a nice little pour spout that's small enough to fit right in here. So that way I don't have to clean up a funnel when I'm done with this job. So save a little time with the uh, fluid extractor that we used. And then save a little time by not needing a funnel. So that's an easy job. No need to not do that every year. If your yard takes around an hour to mow, then you'd be fine just doing that once a year. So that's the end of our oil change.